Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to finish up the Hot Butcher for the World beers that were sent to me by Jeremiah. Uh, these guys have nailed down the IPA, a double IPA, whichever, uh, New England style or, or not. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's going to be a New England style yet. We have, I haven't had it yet, so we're going to pour it in the glass here in just a minute. This is a 7.5%er, just like the other ones have been, except for the... Uh, the nine and a half one, nine and a half percent one. Now the rest of them have been seven and a half. Well, I take that back. There was a six and a half in there too. So uh, uh, their AB was ranging six and a half, seven and a half, and nine and a half. So uh, they're doing all different ABBs. If you don't want something heavier, you can drink something lighter. And if you do want something mid-range or heavier, you got that option also there. I haven't had any dark beers from these guys, and I went and looked, and they do make some dark beers, so I would definitely like to review some of them, Jeremiah, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, uh, if there's any kind of uh, uh, darker beers, porters or stouts, uh, I don't know if you're doing any kind of barrel aging beers or, or anything yet or not, uh, uh, I'm not sure you even have your own brewery, if you're a contract brewing somewhere else, I don't know, uh, well, that, I don't have that information, guys, so I uh, uh, would definitely like to see if, they, or if they're doing the darker beers as well as they're doing the lighter beers. Uh, so, uh, uh, time will tell, guys, and uh, we shall see. But again, Jeremiah, once again, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate the wonderful beer mail package you sent me. You guys are kicking, kicking it down, boys, no doubt about it, uh, especially in the ones you sent me and the ones that Matt sent me that introduced me to this brewery. Uh, he was a big fan, and uh, I can understand why, because these guys, I, and I, like he said, that uh, he would have put them up against any other the, the New England-style beer breweries in the country and probably the world, because uh, these guys are knocking it out of the park, guys. They are. So we're going to see what this one brings to the table. Uh, this, it doesn't say here that it's a New England style on Beer Advocate. This is an American Imperial IPA. Let me jump over to Untapped. Uh, and they say IPA Imperial slash Double New England. So they are saying it's New England. These guys are not putting that on the can here. So they're not telling you on the can that it's a New England style beer. But... Uh, Based on the pictures that I'm seeing on tap, it does look like it's going to be a very cloudy, very hazy beer. So, Amarillo, Citra, and Galaxy Hop Double IPA. 7.5%, no IBUs. Canned on date, says here, package 12, 9 of 19. So, uh, less than a month old. We're just in the first week of uh, January here, 2020. So, let's find out. Let's get it open. Big 16-ounce can. And see what we got here, guys. It does look kind of orange juicy and what I'm seeing in the top. So let's take a look. What do you think? Look like orange juice coming out of the can? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Great looking beer. And I poured that pretty damn aggressive. There's a swallow left in the can there. Look at the cascading effect on that. That looks like a glass of carbonated orange juice guys absolutely outstanding about a finger and a quarter of head on that look at that isn't that awesome looking these guys know how to brew this style of beer no doubt a freaking about it great looking beer carbonated orange juice is what it looks like orange a glass of orange juice with a head on it mmm they're really light very nice very very nice Great looking beard. To the nose we go. Amarillo, Citra, and Galaxies hops. Galaxy hops, Southern Hemisphere hop. Might get a little spicy notes from that hop. Uh, Amarillo, Citra, very pleasant uh, Northwest hops. 
to the nose. Very, very citrusy guys. Hints of oranges, some tropical fruit notes, maybe some mango, pine and grapefruit. Awesome smelling beer. The aroma is off the chain, guys. Oh, man, I would buy these guys' beers if I can get them here. So I'm wishing them all the success in the world. I hope they expand and, and you know, start sending them all over the country. And they make a lot of different versions of their IPAs and double IPAs. So they have definitely nailed that style down. So like I said, we'd like to try to see if they're doing just as well on some of their darker beers. It smells awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everyone at Hot Butcher for the World. Y'all guys, y'all guys are nailing it. Keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing. You got it, you got it figured out on this style. No doubt about it. Cheers, Jeremiah. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. Very smooth. Very easy drinking. Alcohol is well hidden. Wow. Absolutely a pleasure to drink. Mm. That is so smooth and easy drinking. Wow, what a pleasure. Wow. You guys up in Illinois uh, can get your hands on these beers. I had a guy, one of my subscribers, on today's or yesterday's beer review said that he went to four, evidently the stores were having a, a one four pack limit. He went to four different stores and, and bought a four pack at each different store. Uh, just trying to get his hands on as much of it as he could and I understand why. I'd probably do the same thing if I could get them here. All right, back in pour. We shake that up a little bit. Probably gonna get a little chunkiness in there since it's an unfiltered. Looks like we got it all out of there. I don't see a whole lot of floaties in this one, but like I said, again, uh, anything that comes out of the bottom of the can is just an unfiltered. Uh, more or less some of the hot sediment and stuff. This is not going to hurt you. Drink it up. It's going to add flavor to the beer. Absolutely. There was a time where I didn't care for this style of beer. Ten years ago, I wasn't a big fan of these big, hazy, cloudy beers. But now, I love them. I absolutely love them. So, we're going to let this one warm up, sip on it for a little bit, and then we'll come back. You can already see the lacing that's left on the glass from the, uh, the initial pour. Very well made beer. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it about 30 minutes or so. Awesome lacing is left on the glass. Look at that. Uh, very tasty beer in the glass. These guys at Hot Butcher for the World have nailed this style down. They uh, they're using different hops. A little bit of spicy notes on from the Galaxy hops on this one. Very pleasant. Very easy drinking. Very smooth. Alcohol is well hidden to me. Uh, very pleasant. Uh, again, thanks to Matt for turning me on to this brewery and to Jeremiah for sending me the wonderful beer mail package straight from the brewery. Uh, I would buy their beers, guys, if I could get them here. And again, uh, I'd like to see what their dark beers bring to the table, see if they're nailing that to the wall just like they are these New England styles. So, uh, final joke. What a smooth, easy drinking beer that is, guys. Very pleasant. It's outstanding to me, guys. This is one you would want to get your hands on. Just like all the rest of their New England style beers. Uh, they have nailed us down. They're right up there with Treehouse and Trillium and a lot of other ones uh, uh, that are doing this. Uh, and there are a bunch of them that are doing it very well. Uh, and... Y'all know the ones that are doing it uh, very well. Uh, Half Acre and some of the other ones uh, all around the country and the world that, that are enabling this style. Very pleasant. My, one of my favorites, guys. Uh, it is. Uh, I am very partial to these New England style beers. Uh, I like that off the chain hop aroma and taste. I really, really do. It has ruined my palate. 
I just don't think that the West Coast style and the East Coast style can hold a candle to this style anymore. Uh, but I try to ju judge those beers according to what they are and what they claim that they are. So, uh, but if I had my preferences, this is what I like to drink when it comes to a pale IPA or a double IPA. Uh, you get all that hop juiciness in these styles of beer. So, uh, again, it's a 10. It's a 100 for me. Over the beer, I'm going to say 93 outstanding. I think it's better than that. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.27. And again, I think it's better than that. So, with that being said, if you've had Done 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 from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know what you think. I think these guys are nailing it. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.